Hello again. It's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. On an excessively humid, hot October day, anticipating Halloween and some more inversion pours. And this time I think I'm going to use my black canvas. But I want to go outside my comfort zone this time. And so I think what I'm going to do is plant some of these inversion pour or potential inversion pour bottlenecks and I'm just gonna go crazy oh no not again sometimes the marble I put in my premix bottles goes to the tip and sometimes it's a splooge away something a flow troll something or other gets in there so I just did on a white canvas, a 16 by 20 like this one, a, uh, a variation on this theme, but uh, Halloween theme, but I didn't use nearly enough purple and I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's not gonna keep me from trying again. I've got all kinds of purples, as you might imagine. got a lot of other colors calling me but I'm going to attempt to stay in my theme and throw some more green in there. More being not a term that applies at all. Um, I'm umming again. I don't like it when I um. <laughs> I'm going to look around for some more cool purple. That's too dark, at least for that color combo. And oh, there it is. There they are, in fact. And last time I thought I would fill this, this first container up because I didn't really have as much paint as I had anticipated. But uh, no, that's too much the same. And for there. I'm thinking maybe a little pink wouldn't hurt anything. <laughs> maybe just a little. A little. Yeah. And I did shake that. Yeah, that's more than a little. Never mind. I'm going to use my favorite color, which is a color, uh, excuse me, a folk art neon multi surface acrylic. Might as well go all the way. I don't know how this is, any of this is going to work. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. It may not work at all. And then I'll have to do something else with my canvas afterwards. But that is neither here nor there yet. I didn't put any yellow in the last one and I kind of want to see what will happen if I do that. I'm going to explode that right down in there. And maybe I'll put some of that right around there. So they're pretty tippy and I can't really do anything but allow the paint to flow out. And that one decided to stop. Why did you decide to stop? So submersion pour. And my... Oh, I like the paint color in there. I want my, uh, my Princeton Catalyst spatulas to scrape the paint out of there. Because I can't waste it. It's just... That's my favorite color down there. <laughs> I just can't. And into the bucket. A few drips never hurt anybody. <laughs> I want some more white in here, and I think I want some more black as well, and while we're at it, let's just do that. <laughs> Don't know what we're going to get. It may have been a complete waste to use a black canvas. I do have chain, and I did recently use it uh, to great advantage. I really had, had a lot of fun. And I like the way it looks. Into the bucket. Throw your paint water in the grass outside. Do not throw your paint water. I like that black in there. And I like that orange in there. <laughs> um, you don't want the plumber to visit your house. So these are kind of different. Whoops. I'm just going to use up all my paint because I can, because I can, because I can. The name of the book that I hope to have out by Christmas will be Because I Can, 
fluid acrylics and abstract art. Um, fluid acrylics pouring and abstract art. Or some variation on that theme. I really like that. Just makes me want some of that Prussian blue in there. Whether it's copacetic or not, I'm not sure. Now, I could do a whole lot of things with this. And that includes pulling my spatulas out or finding my medical tubing, which seems to have morphed some to somewhere unknown. That's, nope. Oh, I got it. I'm so organized now, it's, it's hard to get used to. So, you know what? I see some pretty cells. And the torch is good to release bubbles in the paint, but it's also good to release some cells as long as you don't overheat the surface. I'm liking my color combinations. I'm not sure how far I can spread things and keep the cells that I love, i.e. those. So it's another not really a Halloween <laughs> theme, but oh well. If I squeeze a little orange in here and there, I could probably help that. We'll see. I did set my timer. We have 20 minutes before the camera shuts off. It's looking very much to me like there's a very good chance of covering the whole canvas. I'm going to take my tubing, which you can use a bendy straw. Probably a lot easier. Oh, we got a natural feather. Cool. And I'm kind of thinking I could lead some paint, maybe, if I was willing to. You know, I have no idea what I'm doing, because you've got to know this is another experiment. And I've decided that all bets are off, that I should really just do whatever I feel like doing at the time. And this is that. And throw a skewer and steal some paint from somewhere. Pull that sideways and see what happens. I love the matte black canvas background because it means as long as I can find something to do that pulls paint over it, that I don't leave, you know, a smear or something that doesn't look right. I get that matte black background. I get to keep it. I use GAC 800 in my paint for that reason specifically because I can keep my paint thick and it doesn't crack and I recommend it. Now I love these colors and I'm liking everything that I'm, ha that I'm seeing but I really want... Ooh! Dragonheart! <laughs> I really want to play, and I really think I need to play. And I have nice thick pools of paint, which means if I'm as lucky as I think I might be, I might be able to play. But having never really tried this before, and I want to stay in your vision, I'm sorry I was out, but it's really hard to move things and stay where I'm supposed to be all the time, so I, at least I always come back. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but that's okay. We'll just go with the flow. We'll make it copacetic at some point. So, I'm still pretty happy with this. The other nice thing about the black canvas is that it, uh, I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh well. I got some cool stuff. I'm not sure it's the prettiest shape I've ever seen. And it makes me want to continue with my uh, let's spatula that theme. And I think that is the theme. I think let's spatula that is going to be the name of this particular... Oh, I don't want to change any of that. But I did want to lead it. So... Sacrifices must be made in the name of art. Okay. Cool. I love it when a plan comes together. This is uh, 
me leading my spatula up through everything. And making a mark that I like. And we have, oh, I don't want to get my painty fingers on things, so I need to keep my fingers cleaner than that. If I catch it soon enough, I'll probably just lead something down there anyway. So I can dip in anywhere I want and pretty much steel paint and use it to add to a part of the design. If I'm not too vehement, you'll never know. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> Give it teeth. <laughs> it's got teeth. <laughs> it's a Halloween thing. It can, it's allowed to have teeth. Let's just fill them in. We'll make them orange and bloody. No, we won't. I'm probably just going to leave that away. I've got such nice thick paint that I know won't dry out that I can basically do whatever I want. Including dot it out. I do love doing that. I gotta say, after I have a pattern on the canvas, just giving myself permission to uh, do whatever I want, including link things up. Yeah, I know I have still a paint on my spatula, but I'm counting on it just adding a tiny bit of interest instead of destroying my cohesive <laughs> coloring. It, I am, I want to call it Dragonheart and call it done. <laughs> you know, I don't think I will though. I am having so much fun. I don't want to go too far. I do want to put my glasses on. I don't want to go too far outside where I'm at in certain areas. I'm sorry, I'm down here continuing some of this purple over the edge, which may or may not stay. This is pretty cool. I've got skewers, and I'm not afraid to use them. And I've always wanted to do exactly what I'm doing now. And that includes stealing paint. And I love all this down here, and I don't want it to change much, but I do want to lead it around so that it moves out of the stiff edge that it had. It's a centipede! <laughs> Not really. I don't, I love those cells. Those cells are just tremendous. I'm just so happy with those cells. go exactly as I planned, but that's okay. I have to be ready to change at a moment's notice. Gotta be fast or you're gonna get a splooge. Just encapsulate those orange dots. Need one more, don't I? I don't mind the little black spaces, it just adds interest. And I for sure like that down there. I got a little extra paint. I got four minutes left. I'm just having too much fun. So, I might as well attempt to tell you what I always tell you, which is if you want to shop my Amazon link, it helps me out. And it's a great place to find the OXO Omelette Turning Spatula, which spreads paint when I'm doing my regular paintings unbelievably well. I like these. And I want to drag some lines out from them, I think. Or we can just call them eyes. <laughs> Halloween themes are great. Um, I don't know if it's really a Halloween theme, but it's 
some of my favorite colors, so it doesn't really matter to me if it doesn't come out that Halloween-y. But um, it's a little creepy. <laughs> Just a little, so that's fine. Um, I keep putting my tops places, and they are rolling away, and I do kind of want that right here. To go right over the edge. I'm not certain that turned out exactly as I thought it would, but I'm um, still liking it leading the eye around the edge, so it's good for me. And I like my dots turning into spirals. I don't think I can do that over there. Very easily. Maybe just a few random marks. I'm having a good time, I gotta tell you what. I know I probably tell you that all the time. So before I run out of time completely, I'll tell you if you want to look for the wet and dry artworks, as soon as Facebook lets me back onto my page, Expressionist Art Studio fans and collectors, I will update that album. But for some reason, they've decided I've been naughty and I have no idea what it is. So, sorry for no explanation. Don't have one myself. Uh, there's Pinterest and Instagram. And that Facebook album, all at the bottom of the description underneath the video. This is really cool, and I'm liking it a lot. And I want to do something really rogue, and that's what I'm going to do. I may not be happy with that in a minute, but I'm okay with it right for the moment. I don't even know how well yellow will stay. I think it's going to want some orange with it, to tell you the truth. And I've got several choices. And that's not bothering me a bit. And I put those dots in there because I knew I could probably try and drag them around. And I don't mind mixing the yellow and the orange up a bit. Got a few dots over the side. A few escapees. I wonder if that's dark enough. Do I want it a little darker maybe? Let's see how I feel about that. I kind of like that darker orange a lot. So, my recipe is in the description under the video, and for anybody who's watching TV and doesn't have it, write this down. I mix 10 or 20 percent GAC 800 by Golden to keep my paint from cracking with my color. When I'm done mixing my color, then I double the volume with Floetrol. I don't use any water, and that's the end of my recipe. It's pretty simple, and you will find it should you look for it exactly like that in the recipe. Um, excuse me, under the description. I got something I want over here. Right there. It's a nubbly monster. <laughs> it's a Halloween monster. I think this is really cool. <laughs> I like it. And the timer's telling me we're gonna have a minute left. So goodbye, irritating beeping sound. And I'm just going to continue on my merry way. I'm going to give this a quick hit and run of uh, torching. Torching will release the air bubbles caught in the paint from my shaking them because my mix, all my paints are pre-mixed. I add no silicone to my paint other than what might be part of the chemistry of Floetrol, which I'm unsure of. Somebody just recently told me that, uh, that I was crazy for saying there was no silicone in here. <laughs> and I guess that's possible. I'm just not a scientist, so yeah, I didn't really intend on doing all that, but I don't mind it, and I will make the best of it. I've got really thick paint in there. I have some canvas showing through. I don't want showing through right there, and I don't mind 
that going over. 